So do I hate Linux? No. Am I too stupid? Fuck no. Um, am I too lazy to re-engineer Java? No, I'm not too lazy. I'm just trying to use the fucking thing. I, I, I see how many hours I've taken just trying to fucking use the goddamn thing. Let alone hack it. Too lazy. You know what? Am I going to go out? You know, I, I was looking at some of these discussions, you know, where some guy was... You, you can easily you just search Google for, like, uh, desktop Linux sucks, and you can find it easily, and you'll see people coming in there, and you'll see Linux users saying all the wrong, stupid things, the myths about Linux. And one of the myths about Linux is that it's bug-free. One of the myths about Linux is because the source is open that it's going to be produce a better result. <clears throat> one of the myths about Linux is that the users are actually in control of the, the, the software. Those are all myths. The software is better, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Um, yeah, let's do pay Eric Raymond a little visit here. <laughs> I'll go find it. Well, well yeah. yeah. Eric Raymond is a guy that talks out of his ass wholesale. Am I pissed? No, I'm not pissed. I'm perfectly happy. <laughs> Everybody's got a rant. You know, just what I'm upset about is just the, the big waste of effort. I mean, it's a very good point that um, one of these bloggers made. Was that, yeah, it's a big waste of effort. No one's going to use it. What's the big effort for? You know, if only coders can use it, then. Make it more half-assed than it is. Don't use any graphical user interface. You know? Okay. Yeah, this one. And the Go Open Show. Tell us about your life as a hacker. Um, I became involved with the hacker culture in about 1976 and since yeah, stop here. be fair to him um, I should ex to be fair to him when they say hacker he's not talking about these idiots that have botnets and shit like that he's not one of those guys he's a hacker because he is a skilled programmer I will say he's a, he's a skilled programmer and um understands, you know, how to program and, you know, figure things out, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So the, the deal is when he talks about hackers, he's not talking about the bad guys. Explain that anybody who tells you that a hacker is somebody who breaks into computers is talking through their hat. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll correct his sentence, talking through their ass. It's nonsense. It's a myth. <laughs> but I'm not, you know... It's not a myth, though. I mean, except in the sense that people from Eric Raymond's you know, generation of computer programmers, including you know Richard Solman and the really skilled, really highly skilled Unix programmers, that really, with their programming skills, can take control of a broken operating system and use it. Um, they have first dibs on the name. <laughs> okay, the name the, the name hacker has been perverted. So, you know, give him that. I have no beef with him in any, any way, in way, nature, or form in that sense. Propagated by lazy and ignorant journalists. True hackers are programming enthusiasts. They are, they are people who, who love to build and improve. Talk about Mozilla and Firefox. Um, identities. Who decided that the uh, Mozilla, while it was okay, was too big, too bulky, too bloated, had too much stuff for and adopted it. Obviously, you know that we're here in South Africa. You know, I've been to South Africa. Oh, really? <laughs> well, Eric, that was where I'm leading to. Uh, with regards to the developing world, how do you see open software uh, being involved in that? There are a lot of reasons that countries in the developing world are adopting uh, Linux. I understand. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> Piracy's rampant over there. At least to use Microsoft's term. Um, 
this isn't really the interview I want to see. I want to see number one of this. I'll, I'll keep writing code. Uh, I'll keep uh, talking to the Fortune 500 in the press, and um, I'll keep making trouble. Well, um, I am going to get you perhaps more into trouble, but I'd like to know uh, your opinion on the SCO case. <laughs> well, what a bunch of carpetbaggers and thieves, isn't it? I agree with him on that. Great that they're so incompetent. Um, oh, i I, I got to tell you, I love SCO. They're such... I gotta start this over again so you can do something cohesive.